It's a possible solution to deal with a potential school shooter. This is video from a demonstration today at Regis Jesuit High School in Aurora. The private Catholic school is considering adding drones to their school safety plan to deal with an active shooter emergency. Denver 7's Nicole Brady got a firsthand look at how these drones could stop a shooter in their tracks. Imagine the scenario, an alert comes in from a school, but instead of a police officer, it's a drone that responds in the air in seconds, tracking and then immobilizing the threat. That's the promise of Campus Guardian Angel. If that guy is focused on shooting us, if that shooter is focused on dealing with us, putting pepper spray on them, if we're hitting that person at 50, 60 miles an hour with a drone, they ain't shooting kids. In a demonstration at Regis Jesuit High School, the Texas-based company showed how the drones could target a threat outside the building or inside. I was a little nervous they would break something in our brand new building, but uh, <laughs> seeing them fly, you know, like 50 miles an hour and then hitting the brakes right before the new stained glass and then banking to the right, it was pretty amazing. So left hand picking up the speed, here we go. Their pilots are some of the most talented drone racers in the world. Right hand turn and land after we go over the auditorium. And while these pilots were here in Colorado for the demonstration, normally they'd be doing this work remotely from headquarters, meaning they could respond to a threat in any school in the country where the drones are staged. We're building capacity in Texas with manufacturing partners to be able to make 10,000 drones a month by March. So by March, our goal is that we can be deploying into hundreds of schools across the nation each month. What if this technology had been around? It wasn't easy for Erica Mahoney to watch today's demonstration. She lost her father, Kevin, in the Boulder King Super shooting, but she believes we need to look at every possible solution to mass shootings. I'm taking my daughter to school now and just to know that I could feel safer, that she could be safer. We have to try everything to stop this American tragedy. Of course, it comes at a cost. Campus Guardian Angel estimates for a school like Regis on an 82 acre campus, it would be about $8,000 a month. The school's president, though, considers the human costs that could save. And for me as a school leader, when we think about asking our security people to confront dangerous situations, whether it's the kind of circumstances we're talking about here or anything else, I mean, that's a lot of responsibility to, to give to someone. And the technology is designed to work in tandem with those school security officers or police, giving them precious time when every second counts. Nicole Brady, Denver 7. The Denver Metro is sadly no stranger to school shootings. We're going further in depth tonight and taking a look at public school districts across the area that follow the standard response protocol. It's set out by the nonprofit I Love You Guys Foundation. They developed this, and the protocol details what school resource officers, students, teachers, and faculty should do in certain situations operating on five pillars hold, secure, lock down, evacuate, and shelter. Districts that follow this protocol include Denver Public Schools, Adams 12 Five Star Schools, and the Boulder Valley School District, just to name a few.